My name is Marcel Robichon, and I have the joy to be the head of the Division of Agricultural Ecology here at Humboldt Universität zu Berlin. I'm originally trained as a forester, did a PhD in plant sciences. I've worked for quite a while as a, mo as a molecular biologist, and I spent quite a while in the field of teachers training and the educational side of it. If you just look at the wording, then sustainable education would be an education that lasts for life. And I would even go, go further. Um, an education, it might be transformative in a way that it possibly develop ways of thinking. It might open new doors. And what I think most important, it may trigger curiosity and a thirst for learning. I think a really sustainable sustainable education leads to the learner wanting more and more and more. I am the Humboldt University of Berlin Chair for Climate within the Climate Hub. We had a few well, smaller projects. So we had, for example, a summer school that was not run in Berlin, that was but that was run in southern Germany on the Green Deal in the farm to fork concept. So we were there with a bunch of students from various universities, visiting farmers, talking to, to farmers and people involved. Um, because I wanted to get the students to talk, I wanted them to experience the realities and that was important for both students who were not from any of the agriculture or related green subjects but we also had a fair share of those who were studying agricultural sciences but one thing which we didn't even tell the students beforehand that a main tool of learning was an interaction between these students from different learning cultures different academic cultures um, different fields and so on, and it worked fabulously. We also formed, even though it was a short time, something like a community between those um, students who were involved. A very active role. And one question is whether we call it sustainable education or sustainable learning, because in particular, in higher education, the student is an, an active learner herself or himself. And all we can do as teachers is to offer approaches, to point out things, to be to be coaches. If you're a coach for, for an athlete, you can point out behaviors, processes, movements, and so on. And you can recommend certain ways of training and practice, but he or she have, they have to do the actual exercise themselves. In university, you don't really train people, but they train themselves. You have, however, as a teacher, an extremely important role because you have to support them and help them point out things discuss case studies with them, discuss literature with them. While we want this to be an, an active process, they are not alone in this. A lot of the universities have student-led initiatives. So, for example, here in our university, there is a student initiative for sustainability. And I think that is an excellent way of learning. And there is quite a lot of exchange between the student groups and, and professors. So that is, of course, currently, it's, it's not a formal way of learning, but often you have most fruitful or very fruitful learning experiences when learners take something they have acquired in a more, maybe more formal environment and look for an application and use it themselves, use their skills, try out things. And then coming back to our Circle U Alliance, if 
students create in doing so networks. I very much hope that these projects will at one point develop across the Circle U universities. We also have a few options to, to develop students' projects in a curriculum. So there are so-called Q teams, Q is for quality, that students can apply for, and then they work on one particular topic for an entire semester. There is within Circle U and Circle U teams where students can do exactly that. And that actually would be a fine example for digital methods playing a larger role because those happen mostly via Zoom. We do not do this research in this work just for the university, but we have an important role kind of as a hub from which concepts and ideas, possibly even sometimes solutions are communicated and might in the end flow back into communities, into businesses, into NGOs. I certainly would see that as an important role. Also students, as they eventually conclude their studies and, and move on to be part of the, the workforce, they have to be communicators in their own way and in their own right. We have been working on internationalization of education, how to overpass the frontiers, the limits. Today, it was the very day of the Think and Do Tank, where the students, they have revealed all the studies that they have undertaken on sustainable education. Sustainable education or education for sustainability are complex concepts that circle your students so to better understand in their research project through the support of the academic chairs of the Think and Do Tank a think tank within the Alliance.